Good morning. What is the main challenge democracies are facing today in terms of connectivity? The main challenge is first to recognize that while there are many countries, many companies who are dealing in building uh, connective grids, and I'm not only meaning digital grids, but also railways, roads, they all have a digital aspect and component today with them. And they all must be safe. What does it mean to be safe? First, technology does what it is meant to do all the time. And then we know it doesn't do something in the darkness, that we can trust this technology. It is not possible to build a single system and trust it. It is not possible to make one country responsible for these technologies to be trusted. But we have to have a consensus. And my proposal is to call it telling consensus, that we all make sure that the technologies we use are tried and tested the way that our people will feel secure investing into and using. How to achieve this? The only way, of course, is to make sure that technology is built under the control of democracies, under the rules of free market, where companies voluntarily apply those rules according to which we know we can trust. Be it blue dot or some other symbol which we find on the wall, on the equipment, on the road even. And then we know we can trust it. We need a broad consensus that we want to move forward in this way in our democratic value-based world and be telling consensus from today. And is this why trusted connectivity is the main theme of this year's Tallinn Digital Summit? I think it is not only the main theme of Tallinn Digital Summit. It's just that for a year and a half we have not been able to come together and mull over what we have learned during this pandemic when we all suddenly went digital and all realized to a certain extent that, I mean, these technologies are there. Will they be there tomorrow when I need to really use them? Can somebody take them suddenly away from me to achieve their objectives? For example, to uh, quell my personal freedoms or a freedom of a nation to decide. These questions have suddenly become much more important. And that is why it is now time, particularly this year, and in Tallinn is the first opportunity to discuss this, the main issue of 21st century, who makes sure that the networks remain safe to use and always accessible. Very interesting. And globally, what would you say is Estonia's role in boosting digitalization? Boosting digitalization is done. Estonia has catalyzed the European Union to create the unique uh, international world where governments agree that their citizens can interoperate with their digital IDs from one country to another. And Estonia uh, has catalyzed also the demand in the European Union for public digital services. So this is done. But now we must have a high ambition. And here I'm thinking of the Three Seas Initiative, which is an initiative to uh, not build back better, but build better infrastructure, because uh, Three Seas countries uh, are lagging behind in infrastructure investment. So they are rushing in to create these roads and rails and digital connections. And I see that Estonia, together with other Three Seas countries, can, as a test bed, support building this consensus that technology needs to be safe and how we will manifest that it is safe. So I see here Estonian role and the role of the Free Seas Initiative. Thank you. Thank you very much.